So, dann bin ich wieder zurück zu Part 18. Ich habe mich jetzt mal zu Marshall Johnson begeben. Und jetzt mal gucken, was er jetzt von uns will. Bonnie McFarlane wird gehängt. Warum denn das? I don't have a clue. All right, but it's got to be something to do with that government boy. We'll talk to him, find out what he knows. Fucking is. Where is she, Marston? Who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum. Where's Bonnie? I don't know. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? Because she hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. You know, I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child... Now, Drew, <laughs> nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Mr. Marshall! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> That'd be your next fucking mayor. Even better! Good day, Mr. McFarlane! Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarlane wants to see his bunny back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarlane! It's a nice girl you got there. Get down from there! You know, part of me's got to thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do. Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Oh, government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is the land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself! You boys have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! What do we do? We do as he says. You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarland, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. I won't let anything happen to her, sir. Come on, get this charmer to tumbleweed. Da will der Bülensen doch. See, this is what happens when the federal interfere in our affairs. Will doch? Are you happy now? No, I ain't happy at all. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. Now you say that, John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the King of Diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves in cheap clothing, all of them, rob you, then make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. The fellas I know don't care about people. All they care about is lying in their pocket. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Why's this sorry son of a bitch so important to them? Norman Deke, Williamson, right hand man. In other words, a glorified errand boy. You wait, Marshal. I'll be back for you. Bill Standerton slip. We already filled you with late once. That's the kind of man who's mean enough to be second in command, but too cowardly and stupid to ever be a leader. Don't ever use that line near your deputies. You know, for his sake, they best not have laid a finger on Miss McFarland. Oh, Miss Alma. Yeah. What is this place we're headed? Tumbleweed, a lonely, godforsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed. And that was that. Pretty soon everybody had up and left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum like Deke here. Oh, popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. 
Das sollten wir tatsächlich verhindern. Different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. I know you helped, just like you helped me. But you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson and the past. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubts. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business neither. supposed to turn out, depending an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules, but they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyways, just to spite me. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. Just look at Deke here. Go to hell! Man has worked hard at civilization. Your boy steps out of line, you whack him. He does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal, and I respect what you're trying to do. But from what I've seen since I've arrived here, the law ain't really working. Criminals are like weeds, Marston. Quicks you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. Ja, das stimmt natürlich wieder alles. Am nächsten will ich ihn schon erschießen. Da sind wir aber jetzt auch schon. John, you'll be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair my ass. You bet. Besides, Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <lacht> It'd be my pleasure. John, you lead Deke into town. Make the exchange. Come on, let's go. You get yours, you son of a bitch! I'm sh you want me to shoot you, Fred? All right, I'm moving. Sure you will, Fred. I hear those rancher girls like it in the rear. Come on, we ain't got all day. Maybe she won't want to go home. She's been fucked so good. Get these ropes off me, boys. Where's Bonnie? I thought we had a deal. Well. You thought wrong. We don't make deals with the law. Boom. Erschießen sie ihn erstmal. Son of a bitch. John, you gotta get the body before they kill her. Du Drecksau. Haha, Norman. Ihr wirklich, ihr Bastarde. Wir sterben, ey. Tschüss, Jungs. Weiter vorrücken. Arschloch. Komm her. Arschloch. Wenn ihr tut ihr was, ey, dann gibt's aber richtig hier Ärger, ey. Komm ich persönlich ins Spiel rein und dann geht ich euch alle persönlich um. Fuck you. Scheiße, Mann, ey. Get up from 
Hilf dir, Bonnie. Arschlöcher, ey. Bonnie, are you okay? I'm fine now, Mr. Morse. Thank you. Thank you. What the hell took you so long, stupid man? Well, you weren't exactly helping me. If you think I'm gonna lower myself by making a joke about being all tied up, you got another thing coming. Come on. <lacht> hm. Ja, oder nicht? Halt. Ich hätte es lustig gefunden. <lacht> Noch mal nach dem Marke. Zum Sieg angespornt. Aha. Ich will jetzt erstmal hier die Muni sammeln. Und natürlich das Geld auch. Boah. Nicht schlecht, Herr Specht. 5 Dollar nur. Ach, da ist bestimmt oben drauf. Ne, da habe ich jetzt keinen Bock hin. So, dann gehen wir ja nochmal nach Marshall. Wo bist du denn? Ach, da unten. Marshall Johnson. Na, ich denke, was ich... Was jetzt kommt, dann... Geht's jetzt ab, dann geht's jetzt ab, dann geht's jetzt ab. Uh, uh. Oh, jetzt kommt. Let's go jetzt. Norman, die geht schon mal tot. Aber von seinen eigenen Männern getötet zu werden, ist natürlich richtig bitter. Ja, richtig. Wenn ihr dir nicht, könnt ihr ja auch in die Kommentare schreiben. Könnt ihr euch ruhig daran auslassen. Ich werde versuchen, jede Frage oder Kommentar zu beantworten. Selbst Kritik. Das Hit nehme ich mir natürlich auch an. Könnt ihr alles machen. Könnt ihr alles da rein posten. Ja. Äh. Okay. Ey, warte mal. Nee, ich hole mir ein Lasso. So, du hau schon mal nicht ab. So. Opfer tragen. Bringen wir ihn mal zurück. Ach, da ist mein Pferdchen. Ist er jetzt auch zu faul, wa, Pferdchen? Hier. Der ist doch nicht auf der Flucht, der liegt da noch hinten. Habe ich doch schon lange gefesselt. Jungchen. Spiel. Komm mal her. Ich bin mal gespannt, ob das mehr Geld gibt. Ich weiß es nämlich nicht. Pferdchen. Wir haben ein Opfer abzugeben. Ja, ist das äh, komfortabel auf dem Arsch? Ich glaube nicht.
Passt auf, gleich lässt er die E da liegen. Oder er schießt sie. Einundvierzig Dollar. Ja, Mann. <lacht> Geil. 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 <lacht> hey. Ja, Mann. Wo oh, wusste ich denn das? <lacht> Wo schießt er? Nein. Wer schießt er den erstmal? Eiskalt! War richtig eiskalt! Er schießt er die erstmal! Mach ich mir die Mühe! <lacht> richtig geil, ey! Aber mir soll es ja egal sein. Ich habe 41 Dollar gekriegt. Kann ich mir bald eine neue Wumme von kaufen? Falls einer nicht weiß, was Wumme ist, das ist eine Pistole. hier durch die Felsen. Ja, 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 ja. Das ist genau das, was ich mir dachte, was jetzt kommt. Ihr werdet euch freuen. Aber erst im nächsten Part... Also, bis dahin, schau mal, hau da rein und, na, ja, ich verabschiede mich jetzt schon eigentlich, aber kann er ja noch sagen, was das, damit die Spannung jetzt noch mal ein bisschen rauskommt, das wird jetzt der Angriff auf Horton Mercer. Also, das ist jetzt ein Team, ziemlich scheiß kann, aber wir sehen uns im nächsten Part dann genau hier, auf derselben Stelle, selbe Welle, also bis dahin, hau da rein und tschaußen.